day two of practice, rolling away from the boat ramp. It was uh, supposed to be in the mid 80s and now it's only supposed to get to be up to about 80. And we had some rain last night. I don't even know if it was forecasted for that rain to come in, but we had some rain last night. Uh, a lot of debris on the boat cover this morning. I'm putting in on Lake Harris, the big lake. This is where the tournament's going out of. It's actually right over there. Uh, Venetian, Venetian Park. Venetian, yeah, Venetian Park. It's right over there. It's on the very, I'm on the very west side of the lake. So, yeah, brand new day. Try to break down some water today, look for some patterns, try some different areas. Hopefully find some better quality fish today. fish of the day, white swim jig in the Cassini grass, pretty fish. I was going to say fry garter, but it's pretty thick. There's another boat over there. I actually saw the fish blow up in the Cassini grass. It's a good sign. trying to hide that fish. There's a competitor behind me not too far away. I'm sure he saw it, but got him dry. Pick that fish. <laughs> Little guy. Just kind of pitching into holes in the Cassini grass that I think where a fish might be bedding. Just something where in my mind I think there should be, it looks like maybe there's a round hole or a trash can lid size area that doesn't have any Cassini grass. And 
floor next to the reeds and stuff like that. Just kind of pitching in there, just like you would, you know, imagine a bed fish in there. I forgot to do a midday report. It's already 4, 402. I've had a handful of small fish flipping plastic, and I'm actually surprised at how many. I mean, I'm not just killing them, but out of the bites that I've had, I haven't had a single good one flipping plastic. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, could be that I'm just plucking the male and there's a female sitting right next to him. But I've, I started to go looking I and mean, I'm starting to see some fish on beds, uh, varying sizes, quite sporadic couple here one there two there that kind of thing just not a ton of fish but I'm trying to uh, kind of push that a little bit more and see just what the potential of having a good bag um, sight fishing on the first day so that's what I'm doing It's time to go in. I was able to find some on beds and that was really encouraging. But I'm not seeing a whole lot. This tournament kind of has me a little bit uneasy. I'm glad we have another day of practice. Hoping that I can add to what I've already found in the same general area or maybe not too far off. But I still have an open mind trying to do couple different things still hoping to find that winning stretch or winning area or a winning technique in the area day two is done good morning just leaving the boat ramp day three of official practice Paris chain of lakes today I'm putting in in Eustis I've had some decent success here in the past I'm not quite sure why I've left it to the third day of practice to come over here, but here I am. Pretty foggy. Supposed to get up to supposed to get up to mid 80s and light winds, but there's forecasted to be a front. I think it's supposed to roll in kind of uh, at the in the evening of the first day and kind of really push through hard winds blowing out of the north on the second day of practice like 15 to 20 miles an hour so I'm trying to keep that in mind as I practice areas that are going to get hammered by uh, a north wind especially for that second day but for the first day everything should be in place so that should be okay so anyways that's kind of my that's kind of my uh my mindset, my game plan, my thought as I get out here and go practice. Beautiful weather today. I think I said high 86. Light breeze today. Getting ready to go after it. been doing a lot of running and gunning a lot of idling in and out of canals looking for bedfish marked a few smaller ones glad I have half a day left midday report <laughs> I've only caught like four fish casting or fishing for them with conventional baits but I'm starting to see a decent amount of beds up. And some of them are really nice quality. I don't know how that's going to fare with the weather that's coming in. It's 
it's forecasted for the second day of the tournament, but I'm just gonna roll with it. It's the best thing I've got going. So I'm just I'm just looking. Just trying to go down as many areas and stretches where I feel like fish will spawn and uh, try to mark as many fish that I see, places where I see fish, and bedding fish. That's kind of the plan. It's day three of practice, midday report. I know they're going to catch them here in any good way. Hoping to get them. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff right there. That's the end of practice. Just pulled back to the boat ramp over here. Guys are loading up. I'm getting ready to put it on the trailer. I found some really nice fish on bed. I'm trying to be quiet. And I got on a little flipping bite there at the end of the day. Didn't have the camera on. And I caught one about six pounds. And I had shook off a two or three more bites. So it was good. A little. Found a little key area there, protected out of the wind. Pretty excited about that little area as a backup, just because I got quality. Really wish they <laughs> I hadn't had a bite in a long time and I was flipping and when he bit, I just set the hook and of course, six pounder, biggest one of practice. At any rate, that's encouraging, tells me some good things. Hopefully I've found enough. Would really like to fish all the way through Sunday and have a shot at this thing. Gonna put it on the trailer. James Diggemeyer. 340 check in. 340 check in. Thanks, sir. Yeah, appreciate it, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. you have a good one out there. Have a great day also. <clears throat> Here we go. Day one. It's about 6.43. We're, get, we're getting ready to have the uh, national anthem and prayer. And I'm boat 86, and I'm doing it 340. I don't have a marshal today, but I got you guys to take with me. Um, got my GoPros ready to go, and um, got all my rods on the deck, all my loose rods, all my baits ready to go, Strike King stuff, and yeah, I'm pretty much all set. I'm probably earlier than I've ever been to take off this morning. I wasn't sure about how congested this takeoff, this boat ramp would be, and it went really smooth. The city of Leesburg, really, they put in this really nice, uh, like a conference center over there, a brand new boat ramp over there. They have really, another a bathroom over there. They've really uh, rolled out the carpet for tournament angling, which is great when we see communities like that, like Smallwood State Park and on the Potomac River, and uh, Dardanelle State Park, there on Lake Dardanelle to just to name a couple off the top of my head so it's pretty it's pretty cool when you see that um, anyways hopefully we'll uh, get started here and have a great day
Hey. And there's the Glen Chapelier, the chaplain, the chap attack. The chap attack. Only if I've got the <laughs> inside the mouth. Hooked inside the mouth. inside the mouth. I didn't see him, but he is hooked in the mouth. inside the mouth by a skin of by a hair
trapped inside the mouth. Is it there? I saw some swirling water up there ahead of the boat. Didn't even see the fish, but you know, you kind of know there's a bed, bed there. And I just pitched up my bait and just started swimming off over there. But the net job was crazy. Got to call, that's the third call I've had this morning. Most of them little. Very thankful and pleased with the way the morning's kind of is going. I'd love to catch one of these really big ones that I know are just swimming around in here. Found them in practice. That'd be like icing on the cake. I'll something swirl over there is probably a bass. I gotta go turn around and see. First, I'm gonna check that. It's out from that bush on that grass bank. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. in the mouth. Thank you, Lord. Alright. Got time. in the mouth. Like, pretty good, yeah. That's not good? Good day, yeah. On a day like today when nobody else is catching one. Too. And you don't have to go to the gym, do you? <laughs> Not <after trying. laughs> All right. Okay. Super excited with how today went. 
I was able to have, catch 17, 12, call a few times, and catch those couple kicker fish that made a bunch of difference in my overall weight, of course. Pretty pumped about how today went and uh, pretty much just caught them, most, almost all of them sight fishing and then a couple just pitching around a soft stick bait. Gonna be a big weather change for tomorrow. I feel, still feel confident that I'm in an area where I can still catch a few fish. Really gonna kind of hunker down, fish slow, and try to catch uh, another good bag tomorrow. Hopefully move up or stay up, stay in the top 10 or even move up. So pretty excited about it. We'll put it on the trailer, go over to the service yard, and uh, just refine a couple things on the boat and get ready for tomorrow. Got back to the campground, put on some fresh line, re-rigged some baits, retied some knots, different things like that. Threw the cover over. We're supposed to have a really bad front coming in tonight. I think the low tonight's gonna be around 58 or something like that, where it was last night, I think it was like 68, 69. And then tomorrow, Kurt Dove just told me he's camping two sites over. He just told me that, that, uh, it's supposed to be like a high of 48. I'm gonna have to fact check that one, but that's kind of what he's saying right now. High of 48. Uh, man, I hope that's not right. This uh, <laughs> this is turning out to be pretty interesting because if you know much about Florida fishing, cold fronts are generally no bueno. So um, we'll just kind of have to see what happens. Uh, you know, uh, with the weather the way it's supposed to play, it's supposed to gust out of the north, I, I think at 18 miles an hour with gusts to 25, north-northwest, it'll be, it'll be pretty, be pretty dicey, be pretty interesting. Um, my plan is to go back out and sight fish, pitch my little soft plastic stick bait around, and flip and pitch. That's that's just kind of my that's that's my game plan. Um, I haven't exhausted all my bed fish yet. I feel like there's still some left. It's just a matter of going out and and catching uh, catching a couple of the right size. I mean the right size. I mean like the three to five pound plus. Catch a couple of those right ones to get me into that mid to high teens. So I was really thankful for today. The Lord really blessed me with this catch. A um, couple key fish that were just obviously made the huge difference in my uh, 17 pounds, 12 ounces. I believe I'm in 13th place overall. Very happy with today. As far as like catching fish, quality fish, it's it's quite. I feel like on Harris Chain right now, it's really tough to catch quality fish. And when I mean quality, I mean like two and three quarters, three and over. Actually, two and a half pounders are just seem to be kind of scarce. Um, you can catch some. 12, 13, 14 inches, 15 inches, and then and then it gets harder to get good quality. So I'm hoping that I can get a, a few good quality bites tomorrow, and um, I'm hoping that I can catch another bag like I had today. But we'll just have to go out and um, and fish, fish, fish well, fish clean. Definitely be praying for wisdom, just to make the right choices on the water what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and how I'm doing it, those types of things. Making good decisions. You need wisdom to make those decisions. And so um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be needing some wisdom tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I'd love to say that I'm gonna go out tomorrow and it'll be just like today, but anyways, that's it for now. I'm gonna go run to the shower, get showered, then I'm coming back. My my wife made me some uh, I forget what but anyways there's the frosting meat in the fridge and I'm gonna go ahead and heat that up have some veggies with it and have some dinner and call it done go to bed hopefully by nine like like yesterday of course I don't think I fell asleep until later but anyways Bears chain day two coming up